hello viewers welcome to my channel today we will discuss about seven steps how to start a jeweler business okay let's know about it step number one define your line before you get into the nuts and bolts or build a class of creating your jeweler and starting your business you need to get clear about what exactly you jeweler business is the best way to do this is in writing or more specifically by writing a business plan. You may bug at the prospect writing out a business plan but in truth in this plan does not need to be nearly as complex or journey as you may think at its core. A business plan is an opportunity for entrepreneurs to organize their thought about their business, take stock of their finance and resources, start to build a marketing strategy, define their business goal, and create a game plan about how to achieve those goals in the short term. In your business plan, start by answering at least the following questions. Are you selling fine jewelry or train prices? Are you faces handmade or outsourced to a premium manufacturer? Will you offer it from your home or will you need to rent an off space? Are you going at alone or do you need to hire stuff either now or in the near future? How will you price your products? How is your jewelry different from your competitors? Who is your largest audience? How much cash do you need to get yourself off the ground? How do you plan on marketing your business? Where will you sell your products? Keep in mind that your business plan is a living document. Once you launch your business, get hands on experience as a jeweler business owner and become better informed about the costs attendant to running a business and your audience buying behaviors of can fill in whatever gaps you will have left in your preliminary plan or create a new one and turn it. Step number two, legalize your business. Next, you will need to cover all legal ways to ensure you are running your jewelry business above First, if you feel plan on running your business from your home, check with your local clerk's office about licensing and permit requirements for home business once you have created a business name you will next decide on a business entity and register your business accordingly with your secretary of state if there is an existing business in your state operating under your chosen name you will have to go back to the drawing board the assistant run to go is as a sole private chief, which actually does not require that you register with your state. In this instance, you will only need to file your business name as a doing businesses or DVA unless you are operating your business under your legal name. However, a sole private chief won't offer you protection if your business runs into a legal issue. As a number three, suffer your business and for personal finances. Now that you have a legally operating enterprise, it's a good idea to start separating your business and personal finances. This is crucial for a number of reasons for starters that separation will help keep your personal finances safe from business related legal issues and more practically it will 
simplify your tax filing processes open a business bank account most new business just need to start out with a business seeking account and be sure only to deposit business earning into that account you can also consider signing up for a business credit card which you can use for your business smaller i daily expenses plus defending on the card you sign up for you you can earn valuable funds rewards or cash back that you can redeem redeem and foot right back into your business as the number four find start of finding you won't need to be an entrepreneur to know that starting a business requires money and you probably also know that it's to talk or brand new business owners to secure business loans either from their local banks for from online lenders with no financial strain hand lenders have no data of which of determine a new business's risk level which means they cannot come to an informed credit decision. For that reason, startup funding often come largely from your own pockets. Many new entrepreneurs are bootstrap. They way of using their personal savings loans from friends and family or personal loans from banks or online lenders. Who's funds they use towards building their businesses another option is to try your hand and crowdfunding in which generous strangers who believe in your business donate small amount of funds toward your project that's the number five find supplier and create your jewelry now that you have laid laid the proper legal and financial uh, foundations for a business you can start creating your jewelry with an eye towards selling if you have not already you will need to purchase wholesaler jewelry making tools and equipment including for, for safety equipment as well as the necessary may materials to create your jewelry it can be useful to ask other jewelry designer about trust of the wholesale supplier otherwise put in a little la elbow grass and research 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 it can also be useful to get a reseller license too so you can forego paying local sales taxes when you look by bar step number six sell your jewelry once you have built up a solid inventory you will need to find somewhere to sell it most likely your primary sales channel will be an online store you could consider building your store through a service like shopify which make it easy for entrepreneurs to create and manage their e-commerce stores these services are offered loaded with this full feature like custom sales report and analysis custom relationship management tools and built-in marketing tools either before or as you good on determine online store you will can you can sell your products on e-commerce platform like amazon it's the ebay etc etc step number seven Establish your brand and start a marketing. As you establish your sales channel, you should also start and establish your brand identity and improvement of small business marketing strategy. Creating a logo is a great starting spot and it's circulate for establishing your business. Thanks for watching this video. Tata, bye bye.